whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Tyson Fury is sparring Jared Big Baby Anderson to prepare for Dillian White. Next and up. how do I know this? I know this because Bob Arum let the cat out of the bag. Not that it was ever a secret, but if if it was, it's no longer a secret. Why? You can see he's fighting, in, in, to be so fighting in the UK. We're sending Jared Anderson over to spar with us. All that. And he has... a. Uh, 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 a training camp that's removed from his house. It's on the, the coast. Uh, so he's going to be fine. I mean, there's no magic in training in the United States unless you're going to fight in the United States. Well, that, there's a sparring, but you're sending Jared there. So <laughs> that's um, a stadium fight, obviously. That's good. All right. You got to bring in the big guns. You know what I mean? So, G, what's your reaction? Hey, man, listen, Bob, you're a genius. I would have did the same thing. You know what I mean? That's like that's like being Putin. No, you got the nuke numbers. You're like, yo, don't let me pull out the, the suitcase. You know what I mean? They're like, yo, Fury, we're going to get you right. Send in Anderson. Send in Big Baby Pimpin. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, listen, although I picked Dillian, hey, man, listen, it's a win-win for me. You know what I mean? Dillian wins, salute. If Dillian loses, I know Big Bay gave Fury that real work to get him that victory. So I'm cooling regardless. So it is what it is, man. Yo, Big I'm Bay just checking, G Dog. I'm just checking. I'm just saying. are you staying with Dillian White? Hold or on. Are you picking Tyson Fury? I'm still I'm sticking with Dillian. <laughs> okay. But all right, great. But we all know Big Baby Pippin is next up. So this right, is just right. learning experience. As long as you're staying with Dillian White. All right, um, Ned, the TVE. Uh, I feel, I feel, Jerry Anderson, as, as much potential he has, he's still not the cowbell fighter Dillian White is, but I don't know, I don't know how much Fury could get. I'm not, I'm not disrespecting big, um, Jared Anderson. Like, I, I, I'm rooting for him. I want him to succeed. But Dillian is experienced Dillian the season in this sport and um Fury may cat I think the benefits big baby more than benefits Fury because Fury wants things he's not he feels like he's not he hasn't sharpened on he just fought a fighter with one punch the whole time he had to worry about his one punch Dillian some say a left hook he might have that uppercut he may have that right hand who knows but you know and and what's up G all right just playing devil's advocate here. I'm asking you a question. Go ahead. And who should Bob uh, bring in for Tyson Fury for a sparring? I just think multiple fighters. Bob, Bob has um, who is it? Dubois. He has um, Joy Joyce. He has a couple. Has Frank Dubois. has Dubois. Frank. Oh, they don't work together. Oh, oh they they working together. They work together. I'm just saying. You said yeah. Bob has him. I'm just saying. No, he has him. He has him. He has oh, him on the ball log. Like like. Oh, okay, so let me let me call some fighters real quick. So, so you think Dubois or Joyce will be better sparring partners for preparation for Dillian White? It just, Dillian it just he needs multiple looks. Like you know, just listen, it's multiple looks. It's I'm just sure he not, has multiple sparring partners, bro. Exactly, sure. but not the caliber of Dillian White. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Gee, you picked Joe Joyce to beat. Uso. Right, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. No, hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so. I respect your opinion, Ned. Now, let me ask you this question. What sparring partner can Dillian White get the caliber of Tyson Fury? Mm. Hmm. Caliber of Tyson Fury? He has, yeah. Well, Usyk, Usyk's busy right now. Pop it. Usyk's, Usyk's like six Usyk. inches shorter than yeah, yeah, six inches yeah. shorter, But it's more, for me, the, di the, the issue with Dillian is stamina. It's like, hold up, let me go back. Let me just ask you, because <clears throat> uh, you didn't answer my question again. What sparring partner can Dillian White get the caliber of Tyson Fury? You and I both know that there's only one answer to that question. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
If there's no sparring partner that Dillian White can get the caliber of Tyson Fury, how can you fault Tyson Fury for not being able to get a sparring partner the caliber of Dillian White? Isn't that the reason why they're fighting each other? True. Not even. Bro, he said Daniel Dubois, who's also green, who's also a prospect, who's way slower than Dillian White. I'm like, Hey, yeah, listen, listen, I'll listen. Play. It's not about the fight. It's about the looks. It's about being prepared. You know? It's about the looks? About, about the looks? <laughs> they don't fight like them. You know what I mean? You know, I just, I just feel fighters need to be, they need to just have everything in order when they go into a fight. Like, you know? And yeah. that's just, out of the three gentlemen, out of Big Baby, out of Joyce and uh, uh, Dubois, I think Big Baby's the most versatile out of the three. Where he can actually duplicate Dylan White's style for training camp. There it is. There it is, right there. Do you think that? Uh, I'm just asking you, Ned. Do you think it's possible that um, Big Baby Anderson can can simulate what Dylan White does? Like, watch what Dylan White does and try. then simulate it in the ring. He can try. He can try. All right. All right. He can try. Right. Go, ahead. Go ahead. That's all I'm just saying. He can try to simulate it, but. Oh, I'm no. asking a question. Who do you think who do you think punches faster? Dillian White or Big Baby Anderson? Big Baby Anderson. Who generates more power? Who do you think is more Dillian accurate? White. Dillian White or Big Baby Anderson? I think Big Baby is more accurate. Let me ask you a question. At this power. stage, in, at this stage in their career, who do you think's more polished? Dillian White or Big Baby Anderson? Dillian White. Okay. Well, through the net phase. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> nah, but that's it. I, I just, I maybe, maybe, maybe I just not, not too sure. But he furious, furious who he is, and I still think Fury is gonna um upset Dillian. But I think Dillian's gonna show us, show us what he's really made of. Just like we saw Wilder in the third fight, finally after so much he's done in the career, no blows, no low blows or shade. But um, <laughs> I think Dillian White's gonna show us like, yo, he's really, he really trained hard for this fight. And Fury, I'm just letting you know. Just say it. Just say it. No walking part. I think it's a great move. Um, I think it's what the hungry champions have been doing for a long time now. You bring in the young up and coming fighters, and you spar with them. And and what you're doing is one, you're kind of playing the seed to them. Like, hey, I'm the big dog. This is why I'm the big dog, right? Um, but also you get to test yourself against the young up and comers, which is very important. It's what Michael Jordan used to do. He used to play against the young up and coming talent in the, in, you know, in the summertime, you meet at the gym, you play against them. Basically what you're doing is you're testing yourself. It's what LeBron does now. It's what Vladimir Klitschko did. Remember, Vladimir Klitschko had a camp where Deontay Wilder was there. Anthony Joshua was there. He, he had... Uh, Alexander Usyk spawn with him. Think about it. klitschko has been retired for some time, but he sparred all these guys who who had belts or who are in the championship discussion at this point in time, because that's what you do when you're the champion. You bring in the best up and coming talent and you spar with them. That's what you do. So that's what Tyson Fury's doing. That's what everyone's been doing. Even in a rap game, you may not see it, but your favorite rappers do that too. Look at LL Cool J. LL Cool J used to have every year a song, I remember this, with all the best up and coming talent. It started with Who Shot Ya? He had like Fat Joe on there. He had uh, Foxy Brown. He had he had a lot of up and comers. Then it started with Five, Four, Three, Two, One. He had DMX. He had Method Man. He had Cannabis on on the song. Like that's what you do. That's how you that's how you test yourself. That's how you stay hungry. Right, Drake does that now? Yeah, exactly. Drake does it now. It's a, it's 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 an old cycle. When when you're the, when you're the veteran, when you're the big dog, you bring in the young hungry kids, you know, because they're gonna keep the fire there, right? And you get to you get to test yourself. You get to you get to that's what that's what you do. So I think bringing in Jared Big Baby Anderson is a good move for Tyson Fury. Dillian White, on the other hand, I don't know who he's bringing in to prepare for Tyson Fury, but it doesn't matter. I just going off of what I know, Jared Big Baby Anderson is great for Jared Big Baby Anderson, and it's great for Tyson Fury. But you got to understand, 
just like Anthony Joshua sparred with Vladimir Klitschko, they end up fighting each other later on, and Anthony Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko. So I'm just saying, these sparring sessions, sometimes they're also an opportunity for the champion to collect data. It's also an opportunity for, you know, the the, the challengers per se, say uh, Jared Big Baby Anderson, to collect data on Fury. And who knows if we'll ever see them fight each other down the road. But for this fight, I think Jared Big Baby Anderson's a good spawn partner for us. Uh, oh, I got a good spawn partner for Dillian. Price. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's curious, you know, he's G's G's him to lose. G's jinxing his man already. No, no, no. Walk with me. How many dudes are as big as Tyson Fury? They ain't too many. Price is close. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like. Price like, issue is his chin. So in a smart session, if you get him the head gear. Yeah, you know and- give him the head gear. You can, you can work on how, how am I going to hit this tall dude. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, it. hey, Dillian, I got your back, bro. I got your back. You know what I'm saying? You could get Hellenis too, yo, but Hellenis is in the uh, Hellenis ain't that tall, though. You know what I'm saying? He's 6'7", you know? Yeah, Hellenis ain't help, Hellenis ain't help Wilder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe. You can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and also you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services with her Barks and Bros.